Hi everybody. Well, it's been a long time since I've made a video about Hell Let Loose, and in fact, I'm several months behind the pace with this one. But Hell Let Loose finally has got on um, console and on PC a practice area, a training area. So when you go to the main menu, you can um, go into it, and you've got this lovely sandbox that you can run around with and you can actually practice being many of the roles and um, practice driving vehicles and things like that that often you just don't get a chance to do in the main game because other people are always jumping into like being a tanker and especially being a uh, sniper you know you never get to never get to use it because other people grab the recon role but this means that you can grab it and just have a practice so when you finally do get a chance You'll know what to do, but importantly for me, it means you can you can um, change the setting settings to be whatever you need, you know, to make it work for you. Um, so I find this very very exciting. What makes me want to um, jump back into a Hell Let Loose as well? It's probably the best looking World War Two game, I think. Um, it's going to be interesting when Armor Four comes out, when kind of Armor of Forger does its thing. And we get armor four, and then we get people doing World War Two mods. And I know there's already some, some already, but doing kind of more in-depth World War Two mods using the armor reforger engine in Fusion, because that is a very beautiful engine as well, and it may well, um, it may well eclipse uh, how beautiful uh, how let loose looks. But I've got to say, there is something a little bit odd going on with the anti-aliasing. I think kind of the grass looks a bit odd. I might well have to do some. Some more setting up with this, but let's do an example. So let's redeploy and let's redeploy as um, armor. So let's do that and as a tank commander. Can we select him then? Right, and now we should be able to choose a spawn point. So what this means now is with a bit of luck we could have a go in that rather beautiful the tanks beautiful I run out of stamina look at this look at this panther Ooh, the models are very nice aren't they um, welcome tank commander ok how do I get in then Don't know. <laughs> Maybe I can only drive American tanks. Oh, that would be a bit of a bummer. If we can only drive American tanks, what have we got? We've got a Sherman. I think that's a Firefly, that one. Okay, F, enter, hold. There we go. Um, I don't know how to change seats. Switch seat, hold, F1 to F3. So... Let's dismiss that. Can I change the? All oh, right, here we go. F. All oh, right, I'm in F1. So I'll oh, start engine E. Right. Got to remember that Hell at Loose is always uh, first person. You never get a third person view unless something's changed. Shift left. There you go. First gear. Neutral, third gear, shift left, control. Okay, so that's first gear. Here we are. As we move across. <laughs> yeah, so if we press F2, I'll change, I'll switch in seats. Here we go. So I'm changing to F2, which I'm, I'm not sure what that means. But I am now... Oh, I'm now the gunner. Press left shift precision aim. Oh, machine gun. Right, there you go. How 
how do I change? Oh, we haven't got any shells. Okay, we'd have to reload. Okay, so clearly I need to do some um, practicing uh, and read the instructions on how you're meant to drive a tank. But look how amazing this looks. Got the Tommy gun. Sounds great, doesn't it? So anyway, that's enough of me. <laughs> so it's quite a large area. You can wander around in and have a bit of fun. Practice shooting, throwing grenades, all that sort of stuff. Plenty of uh, dummies to uh, to practice on. And it really whets your appetite for Hell Let Loose. Still doing, doing quite healthy on PC. Um, I think it has about a maximum of 6,000 players playing. Concurrent players playing on PC, which is healthy. Not sure about... Uh, Xbox and PlayStation, but I think it is cross-play, isn't it? Um, of course, the recoil is quite vicious, isn't it, on um, this game? So, you know, mouse and keyboard is definitely an advantage to be able to keep a control of that, and also having the very nice um, large screen. But anyway, that's enough of me waffling around. If you haven't played Hell Let Loose for a few years, now may well be the time to jump back in, to check out the practice range, to sharpen up those skills, to fall in love again with the game, the way the game looks, and um, get out there and, uh, you know, the more support we give to this game, um, the more development uh, the devs will be able to put into it. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.